This episode of Gear 65 is brought to you by xpeplay.com, the Singapore online game store. This is the Lytro Light View Camera and it's called a Light View Camera because it takes in something known as light rays and what that allows you to do is take a photo and then later have the ability to refocus the image after the photo was taken so if that sounds really cool it actually really is and I'm gonna just show you how the camera does that. Considering the complexity of the technology that goes inside this camera, the camera is actually very easy to use. Just take out this really nice magnetic lens cover and just kind of come over here and you'll find the power button. Give it a little push and the camera is now on. And uh, so I've got my beautiful model over here who's going to be helping me to demonstrate some of the features of uh, the camera. And uh, the controls are really, like I said, it's, it's dead simple. You know, you, you can't get wrong with it. You've got a shutter button over here and you've got this little touch sensitive strip that zooms in and out. And uh, for this particular photo, I'm just going to have it totally zoomed out. So I'm just going to get her to hold um, this watch right in front of me and I'm just going to take a picture like that. And straight away, using this little touch screen, you can see the picture, um, and now it's kind of processing the photo. And straight from the picture itself, you can touch different areas and it will refocus it. So I'm just going to touch the watch here, and the photo will refocus onto the watch. I'm going to touch her face, and the photo will refocus onto her face. And I'm going to touch the Starbucks sign, and it will refocus onto the Starbucks sign. Now, if you're wondering, Daniel, I'm not seeing any difference. Well, that's the thing about this camera, is that this display is really small, and it's very difficult for you to see the refocusing effects unless you're able to create a really dramatic type of composition, meaning that you have something that is really, really close up in front of you, and then everything else is really far away. The camera also comes with a creative mode, so just slide up like this, and touch this button, and it changes into something called creative mode, and what that allows you to do is to give you more control on where the camera is focusing on. So I'm just gonna touch the face to tell the camera that that is where the middle of the focus is gonna be, and hit the shutter button, and ta-da, a picture has been taken. The camera also has a favorites feature, so if you really like this photo, just touch the little star up here, and the picture will be marked as a favorite. And it's got other settings as well, so just slide up right here. You've got the storage settings, showing you how much storage is left, how much battery there's left, and you've got the settings that allows you to change some of the settings in the camera itself. To view the photos taken by the camera, all you need to do is connect the device by micro USB and immediately the device will install a special software that allows you to import the photos. Again, because of the unique capabilities of the camera and the types of images that's actually taken, the computer actually needs to take some time to process the photo even after it's importing so you won't be able to play with all the refocusing stuff until the, the computer finishes all its uh, processing. But once the processing is complete, that's when you can start playing with the refocusing features of the pictures that you just took. So here's the photo that we took earlier and it's now focused on the watch itself. So when I go and click on her face, you can see that the watch becomes out of focus and she becomes into focus. And really the best place to look at the photos is not actually on the camera itself, but on the computer because the photos are now bigger on a much sharper display as well. So Lytro actually calls this living photos, basically photos you can, you know, really focus to tell a different story within the image itself. And just by hitting the share button, Lytro has made it possible for you to share this living image with your friends on Facebook. And because Lytro made an HTML5 player rather than a Flash player, your friends are actually able to play with the image, refocus it, regardless of what kind of web browser they are using, whether on an iPhone or just a normal desktop browser. The camera is really unique but the novelty wears off very easily because it's not all the time where you have a subject that's really close up to the camera and another subject in the background that's very far away which is what the camera needs for it to you know, have that really cool focusing, defocusing effect because despite the fact that the camera has an aperture of f2.0 which uh, you know, this number is actually kind of a big number 
but the sensor is really small, so as a result, you know, your images tend to be very much in focus most of the time. What this camera is really good for is for scenery, so when you have a beautiful scenery behind you and you put this camera really close to your face, um, you know, you'll be able to have this really nice uh, picture of you and the scenery in the background, which is what this camera is really good for. The camera comes in several models and several colors. The model that I have here is a 16 gigabyte model and uh, there's also a slightly cheaper model that is just 8 gigabytes. The thing is though, this camera is not available in Singapore yet. So that's it for this episode of Gear 65. We would like to give a shout out to Loretta Tay from xpeplay.com, a Singapore online games store, for giving us the opportunity to play with the Lytro camera for a few days. Thanks so much, Loretta. Hopefully you have a sense of what it's like to use this camera in real life. And if you thought this video was useful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash 65bits. And don't forget to check out our website at www.tech65.org. And uh, check out the Gear 65 page because I will be uploading some of the photos taken with this camera for you to play with.